Hey, my name is Christine and welcome to my channel. Today, oh my goodness. <laughs> Today we're gonna go over a little more of the information about YouTube in general. Uh, there's a good bit of my audience that seems fairly interested in the behind the scenes of YouTube and what it all looks like. I recently did a video on what YouTube paid me for my 1 million viewed video. If you haven't seen that video yet, click over here. I will also leave it down below for you. While you're down there, smash the thumbs up button. Nah. If you've never done it before, it's quite a rush. What a lot of people think about YouTube is that it's really, really easy to do. And while that is true, you know, you can record stuff just with your phone these days. There's no guarantee that you're going to get subscribers, get monetized by YouTube and actually make any money at all. And as a matter of fact, for the first several years that I did YouTube, I didn't make very much money. In fact, my first year, on YouTube, well, I don't think I did really anything. I made zero dollars. So we'll skip that year completely, but I wanna talk about the first three years on YouTube that I actually made a little bit of money. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I made. We're gonna pull up my analytics. We're gonna look at it. I'm gonna share with you what I made on YouTube in 2016, 2017, and 2018. And let me tell you what, it was not that much. <laughs> I really, truly did YouTube as a hobby. Any dollar amount whatsoever I made, I reinvested back into the channel. For example, I wanna say it was 2018, I saved for three months of my YouTube income in order to buy the camera that I'm using right now. I didn't make hardly anything at all. They only pay out once you hit $100 and it would take me three or four months to hit a hundred dollars and then they would pay me like my hundred and seven dollars. <laughs> I just remember being like, oh my gosh, Dave, I made, they paid me a hundred dollars. Woohoo! I can fill up my car with gas twice. And I remember saying to him, could you imagine if I got an extra hundred dollars every single month? I couldn't even wrap my brain around it because that's not what my life was like. Let's go ahead and jump into the analytics. And then after we look at that, we'll come back here and talk about some of the things that you can do to make money faster than I did on YouTube because I didn't do a good job. So <laughs> let's jump over to the numbers. Here you can see I have January 1st through December 31st, 2016. Here's what I made <laughs> in 2016, $176.98. Hoorah! I put out over 50 videos this year. If I want to like scroll over how much I made per day, nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> oh, five cents. I think I saw, nope, not five cents. I noticed this. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm making a dollar, you know, a dollar 80 in one day. And at my peak, the most I ever made in one day was $3 and 48 cents. And I remember talking to Dave and saying, could you imagine if I made $3 every day, I would get paid out every other month. I would get hundred dollars every other month. Can you believe it? The amount of time that I spent just cause I'm curious, <laughs> let's say I spent an hour per video, which is probably underselling myself when you combine recording and editing and uploading and stuff. So if I took my $176 and divided that by 50 videos, I mean, I made more than 50 videos, but I would be getting paid only $3.52 per video, which took me over an hour per video. So $3.50 per hour or less. Yeah, I didn't make very much. I think I got paid out one time for all of 2016, $100. That was all um, shocking, right? Very, very good. So let's go in here and do another custom and we'll change this to 2017. So my second full year on YouTube and holy moly, what an improvement. And I can even tell you what this spike is. A dollar a day, $2 a day, a dollar, a dollar, four dollars. Very, very low on the daily average. I did over a hundred videos in 2017. And this one spike right here was, wasn't quite a viral video but I made $211 in one day. And that was a video I did on the total solar eclipse because we were in the path of the total eclipse. I, we took a raw video of it with my husband's phone, I think, or something. He went ahead and posted it right away. Um, I did a secondary one that was more vlog style the next day. It didn't do as well, but this one hit like 300,000 views. It hit the trending page on YouTube and made me $211, which was very exciting. If you scroll down, you can see here is my top video, top performing video in this period right here, total solar eclipse, August 21st. Even still, I only had like a minute 38 view duration. And to this day, I've only hit 336 
thousand views. December was pretty exciting because I think I hit like $10 a day on the regular and I was like, oh my gosh. If we add up on the calculator, I did well over 100 videos, but just for easy sake, let's say it was 100 videos divided by 100. I only made $17 per video. And at this point, videos were definitely taking me two hours at least. So I'm sitting at around $8, $8.65 was still excited at this time um in 2017 i was like wow i i got a payout two months in a row i can't believe it through 2018 here we go holla check it out three thousand eight hundred and seven dollars in the entire year of 2018 and here i'm sitting at like I think this was the first time I consistently got a payout every single month. I mean, it was all over the map, up and down. I find for me, the summer months are quite low, like July, August. Um, I always make less. I don't know why that is. That's just for my channel has always been the case. Let's say 150 videos at this point. Let's divide that by 150. So at this point, I'm making $25 a video, but it's definitely taking me two hours at least to make a video. So maybe $12 per hour, if you want to break it down hourly, uh, not even including expenses. I want to say this year I had saved up my money for several months and bought a new laptop right around November, which is where most of my money for 2018 went. That was a good day, December 26th. Oh, I did a clearance, like Christmas clearance video that day. And I put it up really early in the day. That was other than the solar eclipse, my best performance best performing video. Yikes. I'm not really encouraging you to start a YouTube channel, am I? <laughs> By three years into it, I had barely hit 10,000 subscribers. Go back to 2016 all the way through 2018. So this is my first full three years on YouTube. I made less than $6,000 in three years. That's encouraging. <laughs> I had 1.9 million views in three years, whereas January of 2020, I had over 2 million views in one month. So quite a transition. It took me three years to break over 10,000 subscribers, which is nuts. And as you can see over here on the right side, this is my real time as of recording this video, just under 97,000 subscribers in real time. Also that just in the last 48 hours, I've hit 151,000 views on my channel uh, just in two days. So in comparison to my first three years, and I would say even my first three and a half, my channel really didn't start taking off until October of 2019, almost four full years. So for those that like the analytics and the numbers, I just thought this would be super interesting. Old videos, this, this one here, this pork roast instant pot one is so badly done. This one, this dried beans one, so badly done, but for some reason, People still, people still watch them. These are not good videos. I wish people would stop watching these. <laughs> they're, they're like three and a half years old. They're no good. The quality is awful. It's so cringy. Blech. It took me a very, very long time to make any money at all, which clearly is not why I did YouTube. I did it because I liked making videos and it was fun. Uh, not because I made any money. And now that I do make a little bit of money, it's so exciting to be able to contribute to my family. Maybe I can even buy some full price non instead of getting clearance one. Who knows? Okay, so basically, what do you need to do if you're interested in making a YouTube channel or you have one already and you're not doing very well? Here's some tips for you. Number one, you have to be interesting, right? You have to have a good personality. But that being said, what's interesting to me may not be interesting to somebody else. This is something I've learned in all my years on this world. I'm so old and wise now. <laughs> is that is there's somebody for everybody. Like if your thing is crochet, do a crochet channel because there are other people that are interested in that and will watch it. My son is mega into the Rubik's cube, like huge. And I, he's 13 now. I told him just a few days ago, I'm like, Andrew, you should make a YouTube channel. That's all about the Rubik's cube and teaching people the algorithms of different Rubik's cubes. He has like five different ones, a two by two, a one by three, a three by three, a speed cube. Um, it's fascinating. Have you looked up Rubik's cubes channels on YouTube? They have so many views. And so whatever it is that you want to do, there's going to be a niche niche niche. How do you say that out there for whatever it is that you want to do? You need a camera of some kind. And what's great about 2020 is that you can do it with this. The cell phones these days, 
take better video than a lot of my first cameras that I use. My first videos, the camera quality was horrendous. Uh, my friend Jen Chapin has talked about this on her channel, The Audio Matters. I did voiceovers not very often because I didn't have a good mic for a long time because I couldn't afford a good mic for a really long time. And I'm so glad I invested in one because my voiceover quality sounds so much better. Here's the part that is a little tricky and definitely something I did not do well, is you need to have people find your video. So you need a great title, one that people are looking for. You need keywords on the back end that people are searching for. You can write your title as like 10 ways to do the splits, but if nobody wants to do the splits and no one's looking for it, no one's gonna find you and watch your video. So you have to research these things a little bit. You need a really nice thumbnail. You need clear words. Assume everyone is looking at it on their phone. So your thumbnail is gonna be like this big. So don't put too much on there. Don't make it too busy. They need to be able to look at it on their phone and be like, oh, that looks interesting. Let me click on this one. And then once you get them on there, you have to be entertaining enough for them to stay. The last thing I will mention in this video is don't be scared to promote yourself. Also one thing I was very, very bad at. All the way up until probably a year ago, the people in my real life did not know I had a YouTube channel. There were very few people that knew about it. If someone did find out about it, like my kids maybe said something or Dave said something, and they'd be like, you have a YouTube channel, what's the name of it? I was like, uh, please don't go look at it. <laughs> I, I didn't even like Dave looking at my videos. I didn't like him in the room when I was recording. I didn't like him in the room when I was editing. And I was like, please don't watch my video today. I've gotten a lot better at that. I was talking to my sister-in-law on the phone last night and like a video chat. And she was like, hey, I hear that uh, you guys need more olives in your house because we were just watching your video where uh, Dave loves olives and you don't. Like they're my real life people, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, you watch my videos? <laughs> Why would you do that? You can get enough of me in real life. You don't need to be watching anymore. So anyway, I've kind of gotten over that a little bit and um, I'm definitely less nervous to promote myself. You know, if someone's like, oh, what's your YouTube? I can be like, hey, it's Frugal Fit Mom. Go check it out. Don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> so there you go. There are my tips for you if you want to be found on YouTube and start making money way, way faster than I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe hit the subscribe button so you can stick around a little bit more. And so you don't miss Wednesday's video, which is going to be a cooking video. So if you're interested in all of the cooking videos, make sure you come back on Wednesday for that. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.